Holy moly. That is so close to just winning the game. Uh, we get rid of everything. We want to look for Black Rock and Roll. It pains me to get rid of Lorthamar, but we're going to do it to find Black Rock and Roll because it is more important. Uh, we found the Steam Guardian, which we can play on turn three into the other thing, turn four. Okay, so it's a control priest. Oh, boy. We also drew two of our big win conditions already. Why does that keep happening? Why do we keep drawing our big win conditions so early? Stream for new people is difficult to be found on YouTube. Did you start on Twitch and people follow you over? Um, I mean, I'd say streaming on you, you'd, you'd be surprised. Streaming on Twitch is even harder than streaming on YouTube in terms of getting discovered because Twitch has literally zero discoverability. Whereas at least YouTube, if you do tags and stuff correctly, and if, you know, the people uh, like watch other Hearthstone stuff, they'll eventually get recommended that content as well, right? They'll get recommended your thing potentially. And they push live content a little bit more, uh, I think, at least like when the live first goes live and then it falls off. So I would say, yeah, growing on YouTube is definitely easier than growing on Twitch for sure, even with live streaming. Do I coin out Steam Guardian? The answer is no. There really is no reason to. There's pretty much no reason to. I am definitely sad that we over... Oh, I was supposed to take out one of the Forge cards and put in Sir Finley. Dang it. But it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Could have reset my whole hand, but it's, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think, actually. Have you tried Priest and Rogue yet? Uh, I have not tried Priest, but I have a deck, and I have not tried Rogue because I think Rogue is unplayable. I think Rogue got... Like, Rogue essentially... Oh. Rogue essentially just didn't get an expansion. Oh, wait! No, it reduces the cost of one in my hand. I don't need to draw it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, thank goodness. We don't need to waste the coin. We can just play. We don't draw a card, but we get the thing, which is fine. But like, if you look at the cards that Rogue got, let's just let's just take a gander, shall we? They got no mana cheat. They got some of the more expensive mechs in a very fast format. They got a worse schooling in from the scrap. Like, this needs to be one mana for it to be playable. This is okay for like Thief Rogue, I guess. This is okay. I mean, it's a decent card. This for four mana is a bit much, although I'm sure you could probably utilize it with like a stealth thing at some point but again turn seven is just so so slow we play black rock and roll and we now just hope to draw good things would have liked to have been able to draw you or you but we got remornia and we got a couple what the what did i miss gear shift to draw three cards is potentially very good i will give them that and some of the cards in a vacuum are good, like the um, the other legendary they got, this one, where you're able to just get a ton of really good, cheap, like, buffs if you play mechs. The problem is, there's no mana cheat, and the mechs they got are 3 mana, 3 mana, 4 mana, 6 mana, and 3 mana. Like, you're never getting actual value out of that, and that's that's the problem right now that I see, anyway. Not a great draw. Not a great draw. Attacks and kills a minion, gain four armor, we'll kill that off. It's not bad, we don't really have anything else to play right now. We could have played the Lava Gorger, but I'd rather do that. Wait, what? After a hero attacks and kills a minion, gain four armor. Oh, my bad, I'm dumb. Oh, oh no, that's not good for me. But this is going to be super duper good for me, let me tell you. Uh, we're going to go this and probably hero power as well. And we're going to kill the 2-2. Two -two. Um, sure, gain a ton of armor, 6 mana, not bad, I'd, I'd be happy with that. We'll kill this off. And we will hero power. I don't know, we want to double the stats of Remornia to do as much damage as possible, I think. But they might have a Rust Drop Viper or a bunch of healing. Unfortunately, the minions in my hand are not going to be enough to win the game. They also have Cannibalite. Okay. All things considered, that's not the worst. It's actually not that bad. 
Okay. Hit, hit, and then they heal up. Great. I killed one three with my weapon to gain a little bit more armor, and I gain 11 more armor as well. What do you give me? Five armor right now? It's pretty useless. Pretty useless. Boom, boom. Give me discover. Two attack. Not great. Not happy about that. We can coin out trench stalker next turn, though, possibly. Oh. I don't know if I like that. That animation that it did. Maybe I do. But it it was a little shocking, a little jarring, if you will. What? Oh, but I gained 11 more armor. Okay, I'm actually fine with that. We just play you, right? This is just 17 damage right to the dome. And uh, it doesn't even die. They have to figure out a way to kill this. I mean, they probably can with, like, cannibalize and heal 7, but they still took 17. Hopefully we just overwhelm him with big minions. I mean, that's a problem, right? Like, Whirlpool happens. I lose my other one. Whoa. All right. Okay. I don't really have a way of killing that off right now. We got Romornia. I need him to have another minion on the board for me to actually rush into. So let's go boom, boom, hit face, pass. Oh, they get so many things. That's so hard to deal with, actually. There's only 12 damage. Okay, so if we draw Lorthamar at this point, we're going to pump up one win condition. Like, that's the problem, right? We just got super unlucky with what we drew. We drew both of these before we drew the black rock and roll. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. Somebody say hi, hey, how's it going? Oh, I can't concede, my bad. I was this close to conceding and then I remembered, oh, I'm not supposed to do that for some reason. Oh, you're pretty good, actually. You kill that off. And then we can kill off the 3-5. And then discover a taunt minion, I guess. And then we'll discover a taunt minion. I don't think it's going to be that good, but maybe we'll get something. Um. Yeah, I don't think that there is. I'm just going to take uh, the Abyssal Basis, I guess. And he's one, actually. I can play him. Let's play him on that side, guys. Do you think every Titan is an auto-include? Um... Ooh, that's not great for me. But it's not the worst either. What was I gonna say? Do I think every single one's an auto-include? No. I actually don't think every single one's an auto-include. For example... Uh, rogues? Completely and totally unplayable. Completely unplayable. Olgra does kill off both and lives. And then we'll play the Sword Eater to get a slightly better weapon afterwards, I guess. It's not bad. I don't want to play Remornia yet. Still waiting for Lorthamore. So Remornia works best when they're... No! I should have played Remornia. I should have played Remornia. I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot... I was like, I don't want her to be on the board and just die, but she wouldn't have died. She wouldn't have died. I would have just hit the 1-1, one, one, hit face, hit this, it would have become a weapon again. I could have done so much more damage. Like, Olger was fine. I think Olger was okay. And we might want to save Remornia for the, um, the Blackwater Behemoth anyway. So, like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it was a misplay, I think. I think technically Remornia is better. But we need to draw Lorthamore. We need to draw him now. Does pure, or does, uh... They get Olgra, but... My Sword Eater still lives. No. No. You're kidding. 
I'll take school teacher. I'll play it. It's an AA. It's probably better than the charge anyway. I'd like I'd like to have the charge as like a surprise factor. Anybody? Um Definitely would have liked some card draw. But you're fine to get more minions out there, go face. Just gotta keep pushing that little bit of damage. We'll play Ramonia soon. They're gonna play the behemoth. I'm gonna kill the behemoth. I'm gonna slam into their face, I guess. Lorthamar before Behemoth. Lorthamar before Behemoth. If we get the Behemoth first, I don't think we can win the game anymore. But no, yeah, Control Priest is just control, 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 control. Basically no other win condition. The games are going to be even longer than they already were. It's going to be so fun. If you like control decks, it's going to be great. Is it a copy of a minion or a card? I forgot. A minion. All right. Whirlpool. I'm 100% okay with that, actually. No, I'm 100% okay with that. I play Gromosh this turn. We're able to push some damage. I mean, we can't activate his ability ever. He's more in there because he's a super high cost minion. So if Black Rock and Roll comes down, he's got 12 attack. But if you draw me four, then he's kind of useless. I really am not a f like Control Priest is really good, and I recommend it for people who want like high win rate decks. But it's not fun in my opinion. It's so boring. Just, oh, look at me, massive control, copy things over and over and over again. I mean, am I gonna be playing Control Priest today? Oh, absolutely. But, uh, I don't know. It definitely just still kind of sucks. What? Why are you doing that? Maybe to empty some space in their hand, I guess, makes sense. Fuck, we lost GG. I can't concede though, because like the rules state that I'm not supposed to. But that goes there, and this does 12, and then we hit their 1-4, and we have another big weapon. Like, we, we could still win. I'm being a bit dramatic. We could still, in theory, win. Maybe. But we just... We drew all of our win conditions before we wanted to. Or before Lorthamore. No Rust Rot. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's a little stressful, but overall it's fine. Restoring a ton of HP. Okay. Do I have lethal? Currently, still technically have lethal. They might think 29 HP is fine. Okay. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, losing it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait, which one does he do again? Which one's that? Okay, I need to remember what, what effects he has. What effects does the warrior one have? I forgot. One gives me attack, one... Okay, hold up, let's just look. Plus two, plus two, draw a weapon. Plus five attack and your hero gains plus five attack. And plus five health, hero gains plus five armor. I think I want the plus five attack to try to push as much as possible. Let's go plus five attack. Plus five attack. We don't really need to draw a weapon. I don't even know if there are any other... Oh, there's still a weapon in there, but it's not that big of a deal. Plus five attack. I gain plus five attack this turn. We go blam. This hits this. And then hero power. And then we can try to win the game with Trench Stalker next turn. We've got a 15-10 out there. Cannibalize makes things difficult, but we do still technically have lethal. No, they're gonna heal afterwards as well. Oh, light bomb is fine. I'm actually perfectly okay with light bomb. Okay, give it to me. Give me the dub. 
This is the problem with Control Priest. You have no win condition, baby. We eventually overwhelm them with the big minions. Woo! We got there. Took us a while, but we got there. Oh, that's why we run two Trench Stalkers, baby. That's why we run two. Some people like only running one, but I know you need two for that extra win condition. Hmm. I like this hand. Uh, we get rid of Black Rock and Roll because we have the Steam Guardian in hand. We will be playing that immediately to draw the card. This way we're able to draw a little bit more and have a couple more flexible options if we need to. But overall, pretty happy with this hand. Hopefully we can get a second Steam Guardian and play... No, it won't actually matter. I greet you. <laughs> Greetings. Watcher of the Sun. We'll probably, uh, we'll probably forge that next turn. Zeddy's slapping people with Mech Rogue right now. I don't even see how that's possible. Mech Rogue just feels so incredibly slow to me. From what I looked at, like, it just looks so bad in the nicest way possible. Like, I don't know what else to say. Also, we have only drawn two of our win conditions thus far. I'm really hoping we don't draw another one by turn four. So no Gromosh, no Trench, no Hormornia, um, and no Titan. We have six big win condition cards. And we're hoping to, by the time we play it, which is about 33% of our deck, we've only drawn two. That's the goal. As long as we only draw two, we're happy. Whoa! Curses? Well, we don't draw Black Rock and Roll, but I don't think that matters too much, honestly. The reason why I don't think that matters too much is because, here's the thing. I don't know if I want to necessarily draw cards. Like, don't get me wrong, drawing cards is good most of the time. But, drawing cards before playing Black Rock and Roll might not actually be that good. I mean, it's the cheapest Titan, so it's still going to be played the most. It's a temporary copy. You should have done that on turn five. Because I wasn't gonna be able to kill your three four. They probably did some they probably did some math wrong on that one. It's it's fine. Temporary means at the end of this turn it'll go away, right? That's what I that's at least what I think. Yeah, it, it went away. That's unfortunate. They should have they should have played that differently. They should have life tapped or something. We play uh Black Rock and Roll. And now we just let the big stats roll in. Did you not see the Warlock that killed me turn 6 because they summoned like 4 12-12s? No, sorry. 4 7 7s? Just like immediately? It sucked! <laughs> and the nice, like, it just, it was... Well, no. The deck was really good. The experience sucked is what I meant. Oh, no. That's not good. That is a big minion, too. We can try to, uh, put this to the top. Oh my god. We're hoping for a Minotauran off of this, or off of the top. Is Minotauran at the bottom? Actually, I'm probably just gonna play Sir Finley anyway. But I might do it next turn after we coin this out to heal up a little bit and get a Holy Spell. We'll take that. And then we're gonna coin this to heal six and to get a holy spell. Probably play Serpently next turn. Okay, I like Holy Smite. Holy Smite could allow me to kill something. We could also go this, this, and this next turn. Okay, well, that went pretty well for them. If I, if they were, if they played better, they should have probably hit the 3-1 into the 3-3 three, three first. So that way it would have guaranteed killed two. So that way it didn't end up with like a 2 and a 1 because then they would have had to had to trade a little bit more awkwardly, but it's fine. Do I want to go Lava Gorger first to gain armor? I think the answer is yes, even though it lowers the amount of total cards I'm going to draw. But I think it's still correct here because I gained 7 armor. Okay, life tap afterwards is fine. Life tap afterwards is fine. We do end up losing an Abyssal Bassist, which I am kind of upset about. I did order this incorrectly. We're gonna go Lorthamor, and then we're gonna go Sir Finley. And this loses its buff stats, which is definitely a bummer. That was my fault. 
I should have taken Lorthamore on top. And we'll probably trade away the Restaurant Viper because we don't need it for the stats. We drew two. Dude. These are terrible. These are awful, man. Dragged below, I take two more damage. I take nine to the dome from that. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Two dragged belows? Oh my God, am I gonna die? I have to play the curses actually. I can't not play them, I'm gonna lose. I take five damage, if they give me one more curse, I'm dead. Minotauran, off the top, please. Minotauran. Oh, baby! We got it! Yes, we take more damage from this, but that is okay. I mean, it's not great. It's actually pretty bad, but it's fine. I was gonna die next turn. If they had one more curse, I lost. But this way they have to kill the 11-2. Uh, I probably have a safe turn where I can play Lorthamore. And then we have another Minotaur. And we know what five cards at the bottom of our deck are. So as long as we can throw the other Minotaur, we're pretty happy. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm at 15 HP. I'm at 15 HP. I think that's okay. I think 15 HP is fine, because even if they give me four, five, six, oh, if they give me three curses in one turn, I do lose, actually. That is 15 damage. Holy moly. That is so close to just winning the game. Siphon Soul would suck. Was really hoping this would give me armor. I also think Odin's a bit slow. For the same reason, I think that this deck might be, it's gonna be Siphon. Drain Soul? Get some almost out of range of Trench Stalker. Not not fully, though. Oh, I see. Okay. That's a 13, 13. That's pretty big. Oh, oh, no. The location comes down, doesn't it? It's the location's time to shine, isn't it? Oh. Okay, we win. GG. But the problem is, like, you have to get to turn 8 and then have multiple ways of gaining a crap load of armor. Which just, like... Don't, it's not bad. But I just think that like, when a Warlock on turn four or five can summon three seven sevens and then also set up Thaddeus for the next turn to get even more minions on turn six or seven. Like, it just, it feels like gaining a ton of armor on turn nine is just too soon. <laughs>